How's it going, everybody? We've got the blog to go over today. We actually got two blogs. One that's okay. I don't know. Normally, you'd be pretty excited about character reworks, making them better in all modes, but I don't know. I'm worried. Anyway, we'll get into that after we go through the regular blog. So, we got September 7th, the weekend Arena Warriors, of course, of course, of course, driving that arena engagement, making them think that people are playing arena more because Annihilators are here, not because they're running arena events every weekend. Okay, I digress. Relax, Dorky, relax. On the 9th, we got Autumn Revolution Sentinel Assembly, so earn Iron Legion Orb Fragments from Campaigns and Blitz with Annihilators. Sentinel Strike Web Milestones, earn Thanos Annihilator Orb Fragments. The Dark Future Alliance event, battle in raids plus collect allied supply, six orb fragments, Moonstone Blitz, Arena Battle, Are Ares, Ares Battle Pass, Nimrod's initial release will be on the 12th, and X Havoc Quick Rumble Blitz with the X-Men. All right, Nimrod recruitment in the future. Yes, yeah, so when he comes out on the 12th, he'll have his regular offers are going to come out. 675 cores will be available. If we listen to what they said in the call, they'll be available for a very long time. Um, he's the second character, so in my mind, I want to core definitely a little bit for him, and I want to core more for Mega Sentinel to make sure I do unlock the whole team. Um, but we're also going to see some buffs that happen, so we got to talk about all that. It's going to be pretty interesting, this new character release stuff. I'm wondering if it will be fine and okay, or if it's going to kill the game. And uh, hey, we're going to find out together, aren't we? Let me flip the camera here so I can see where it, uh, you, it looks like I'm looking at the right screen. Uh, and then there'll be more offers if you get it. All right, Sentinel Evolutionary Orb and Nimrod's Calculations. Earn Sentinel Evolution Orbs from the Orcus Overload Milestone, and then open them to rack up Nimrod character shards. Orcus Overload will be temporarily replacing the daily Save the World Milestone streak. So this is where you and your alliance do a bunch of stuff, right? Or is this campaign energy? We'll be sending everyone a login streak token to boot up this milestone. Each Sentinel Evolution Orb opens scores points towards the Nimrod's Calculation Milestone, where you'll find even more Nimrod charts. Friday Free Claim, we're getting a bunch of the uh, gore uh, monthly stuff still. 1,000 Crimson Council Orb Fragments and 120 ISO-8 Campaign. There is an ISO-8 Campaign running right now, the Gladiator event. And make sure you grab the Free Claim available each day on our website to earn even more. Autumn Revolution, so the season of roster changes upon us. But open a cache of important tech gear pieces for your Orcus Raid machines and diamonds for key characters with this cool collection of milestones. So this is the new monthly. Three main milestones, three quick uh, rumbles, and three alliance milestones. Oh, three? Three alliance milestones? Man, I hope that's not like big spender stuff. It's always big spender stuff. Collect as many Sentinel cores as possible along with these critical items. Okay, those are just the meta items. Event schedule, here is the schedule of events. We got Sentinel's Assembly, Fall of the Mutants, Operation Omega, September 23rd. So I'm guessing this is going to have something to do with Omega Sentinel, you would think. Uh, so 23rd, that's 11 days after Nimrod's release. So that's probably the day after her release. Okay. Uh, the Quick Rumbles, K, Alliance Milestones, The Dark Future, The Dark Future, Dark Future. Oh, Ooh, the Dark Future, The Dark Dimension, Dark Dimension 8. What do we got here? Don't forget to head to the web daily for the daily free claim and other free claims to grab extra event milestone points. If you haven't already prepared now by linking your game to your Scopely account, and we're on the website reading this, so. Well, if you're not, actually, no, this is true. If you're just watching this video, yeah, you should 100% go to MarvelStrikeForce.com. Make sure you have your Scopely whatever logged into that because there's so many rewards you miss if you don't go to the website daily at 5 p.m. Eastern to collect a whole bunch of stuff and also take part in those uh, web milestones. All right. Grab the Sentinel Assembly leaderboard to get your hands on diamonds for Sentinel. He's he's outperforming in the raids right now, which you think he would do, but still liability on the uh, PvP side if you try and use them on defense. But on offense with Nimrod, it should be okay. Purple ISO-8 ions and purple ISO-8 credits. Rip open Legion orbs to uh, grab Crimson Uniques and valuable resources to power up your squad. How to score points. Earn Iron Legion Orb Fragments from Campaigns and Blitz with Annihilator characters. Uh, secure the Energy Blasters and Sentinel Cores. Okay, so doo-doo from Campaign Battles and Blitz with Annihilator characters. Okay. Leaderboard Rewards. Chance to get up to three diamonds for Sentinel and Purple ISO. Events start. The assembly begins on September 9th. Okay. Blitz with Annihilator is worth 3,000 points. This is where, it, man, this is where this new release method kind of buzzing out because it used to be... You know, like the Blitz with Annihilator points, everyone would kind of get those pity points. And you just wouldn't get the five, six, seven stars of the new characters, right? But now that they're no longer going to be running the regular unlock events, like even 
regular players are even going to miss this first like 3,000 limit 30,000 like I I almost imagine they're just going to screw up the first meta the first couple meta items I want to see if people who don't have annihilators get this but you know it's been a long time for annihilators let's see if when they start running Orcus events if people who don't have Orcus are getting screwed let's we'll wait and see um, but we got diamond credits here dark uh, dark diamond credits T3 ISO credit, so it's pretty buried pretty deep for the T2 ISO, or sorry, T3 ISO. Got a little bit of ions, 90,000 ions. Okay, there's some stuff in here. Uh, we're gonna battling campaigns, Blitz with Annihilators, Gladiator 6-7, Gore 6-7, Thanos 6-7, all the regular stuff. All right, it is what it is, and we can get diamonds for Sentinel here. Cool, I don't, pushing for diamonds on Sentinel seems a little silly for me, um, being that it's gonna be a predominantly raid team, even though it did get some pretty nice reworks, which we're gonna talk about. Um, this is still a low priority spend, in my opinion. Um, doesn't mean you shouldn't go hard on this team, but spending on it, mm, we'll see. Sentinel Strike, support your Sentinel's assembly progress with the Sentinel Strike web milestone. Earn Thanos Annihilator Orbs. Prizes, Sentinel Assembly Milestone, progress, uh, progress, and Iron Legion Orb Fragments. Kick off, strike back starting September 9th. So this is just the web milestone, right? What is this? It's just Earn Thanos Annihilator Orb Fragments. It's not? It's just a regular one. Okay. It's just another event running alongside it. The Dark Future. Rally your alliance to secure Sentinel cores and more Sentinel factory orb fragments in the Dark Future event. Earn points. Battling in raids and collecting Islestone supply six orb fragments. Earn more points from Orcus raid note rewards with bonus points from Orcus tech notes. Higher difficulties give larger point quantities. Rewards. Sentinel cores. Uh, Sentinel factory orbs and ciphers. This is the main way to earn Sentinel factory orbs. Okay. Battle and raids and collect. This is what we've basically been doing, right? It's just going to repeat over and over and over again. So battle and raids. Raid with Sentinel. Oh, raid with Nimrod. There you go. Earn milestone points from Orcus raid nodes. And then, okay. Earn milestone points from Orcus raid nodes. One point. Wait, really? How many raids nodes are we doing? What? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Earn some point from Orcus So that's like 30 or something like that? How much? What is it? It's like 50 or something like that, right? So it's 50 points a day. So it's like 250 points. It's nothing. It's nothing. Why would even why even include this? Just take 250 off the expected total. Anyway, I don't want to get I don't want to get bogged down. Ooh, I don't want to get bogged down. We got quick rumbles. Raid rewards update. Okay, here we go. Upgrade more of your roster to gear tier 19 with the updated raid rewards. We've increased quantities of armory 19 orb fragments and crimson gear raid fragments earned from raid completion rewards for raid on Orcus Omega. Sick! The new raid tier, a reward tier for these orbs has also been added at 100%. A new reward tier for these orbs. Okay. But for all of the percentage completions, I hope. Anyway, these updates are already live in game, so enjoy them today while you battle in the Orcus raids. Progress through higher difficulties for more Crimson Gear. How do you guys feel about this? Do we like more Gear 219? Does that make you not care about unlocking characters anymore? Very interested to know. Annihilator's Assembly. Grab extra Gore, Gladiator, Thanos, Endgame. I know I didn't read that in order. My bad. Character shards with this special web event. The initial milestones guarantee 10 shards for these characters. Combine these shards with the orb earned from web free claims and you can inject more power into your annihilator team earn points from daily free claims on the web upcoming promo code keep your eye on the social channels and discord in the coming weeks yeah, i'll make sure i uh, pin everyone in the discord when we get that and select thanos endgame offers of course of course claim rewards on the web gladiator gore and thanos endgame character charts event begins on the september 11th and september 18th until next time good luck commanders okay now let's get to the fun stuff because this is Super interesting, and this is like, how many in a row have they had to rework? Illuminati got a huge rework with Hank giving speed up everywhere. Annihilators, well, Annihilators didn't get touched. They just had a bunch of bugs fixed, right? The Orcus team is getting a huge facelift. Like, I haven't read it in depth. I've just kind of perused it. So this is going to be a pretty real reaction you get here. To enhance the Orcus team's performance in modes like Alliance and Cosmic Crucible, we've updated their abilities. These changes aim to increase their versatility and effectiveness in game modes outside of raids. We'll be updating their kit and targeted improvements to give them more control during a battle. And expanding upon Omega Sentinel's ability to punish mutant and tech enemies. Okay. We'll be updating their kit with target improvements to give them more control. Here's the thing. If they can serve... Here's the whole thing with the team, right? Is it susceptible to getting blown up right away? If not, the... Um, health regeneration on this team and the overwhelming damage from stats like Death Strike and Nimrod 
will make this team a top tier team. So if they can control better off rip, that's going to be very interesting. Sentinel, the special. Let's just look for what's new. Okay, what's new is applying defense up for two turns and deflect to self and all allies. It used to just be Orcus. So more plug and play. Okay, cool. Passive, what's new? It's just, it's just kind of what's bolded, right? Um, apply a minion to self and all Orcus allies. Did he, was he not doing that before? So on spawn, if this character has two more Orcus allies, the summons that a reinforcement ally gains taunt. Oh, pre-taunt. Oh, damn. That's huge. Especially on the offensive side. So he's like the new kingpin, but way, 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 way better. Interesting. Apply immunity self and all Orcus allies. Was he not doing that already? He wasn't. On spawn immunity? Oh, this is really interesting now. That will greatly increase his use. If this character has three more Orcus allies, enemies cannot gain death proof or deflect. It used to be four, right? All right, so some more. So we could take one character out, which is what you would do for War and Crucible. But it's you would be taking him out before. So who do we take out now? Omega Sentinel? Because it just heals and stuff? I don't know. All right, Nimrod hit like a truck. So what's he going to do now? He's applying a Billy Block for two turns to the primary. So a little bit of a buff there. And that's it. That's it. Okay, a two turn ability block instead of one. Always nice. If this character has three or more Orcus allies, apply trauma for two turns to primary energy targets. And he could do this turn one if he's with the full team, right? Because Scientist Supreme, when there's like a summon, she gives energy or some shit like that. So this attacking is 100% crit chance. Hold on. Wait, what? It's no longer in raids? Okay, so definitely Nimrod Raider. Wow. So he, this can be a turn one ability. It is uh, defense down, disrupt, and trauma now. And it's unavoidable. That's actually crazy. Hold on a minute. That's actually crazy. And when you pair him with Sentinel, he's got like effective 130. But if you pair him with like Sentinel and Mysterio, he gets like 160, 170. I don't know what it is. It's high. It would be like the highest speed you can get without having speed bar or speed up on spawn. Very interesting. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff we can do with that. Yeah, that that's crazy. That's actually crazy. Okay. Omega Sentinel. She's the one that I was... Besides Sentinel, I was a little bit underwhelmed with. So let's see what they gave her. Special. What's new? Uh, there's no nothing highlighted. So attacking. Regeneration for Orcus. Defense up and speed up to all tech. In raids. Defense up for two turns. Speed up for two turns. Offense up for two turns. Self to all Orcus. Okay, it's all the same. It's literally all the same. Nothing was changed. What am I missing here, chat? Or YouTube? What am I missing? 350? Oh, apply ability block. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Special applies ability block now. Great. Sick. Uh, ability block is being like very commonly put on like everything now. Interesting. So what's new? Apply stun for two turns to two random mutant or tech enemies. Ooh. So it's not just tech now. It's also mutant. Two turns. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. And again, I think that you could use that turn one with Scientist Supreme when she's given energy, right? In raids, instead apply for two turns of mutant attack. So they just, and also a little buff to the raids. And then everything else is the same. Unavoidable. It was not unavoidable before, and now it is. Was it always unavoidable? I think it was always unavoidable. But anyway. Passive. Uh, what do we got? That's new. Okay, here we go. On enemy turn end, attack the most injured enemy for 150% damage. On enemy turn end is a really important thing, right? So on enemy turn end, attack the most injured enemy for 150% damage. In raids, attack for 300 instead. What was it before? On enemy turn on. On enemy turn end. On each summoned. On enemy. Was it not even in her kit? On mutant enemy turn end, attack. Oh, oh, so it got a damage increase, plus it's on everybody now. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Lastly, Sentinel's ultimate ability, Elimination Protocol, was identified as being uh, not being unavoidable in all situations. How does that happen? We would have identified and corrected the issue with the fix going live later today. Was it? Did he have like an accuracy thing and he didn't have... I don't, whatever. Uh, as far as giving the team more value, this certainly does that. Um, in particular, the buff to Nimrod's ultimate is kind of crazy. And the Sentinel pre-taunt, those, those two things absolutely are transformative to this team. 
100%. Now, I think this team will still lean itself to offense if you want to use Sentinel. Otherwise, you open yourself up to counters with, like, Hive Mind in there. Maybe Lady Deathstrike if you want to get silly with it. Um, New Warriors. Stuff like that for Crucible, I mean, of course. So, the pre-taunt... Maybe the team would just have too many, too much stats for some of those teams once you get them built up, though. But that that would just be a, a crack in a crack and take. We don't need those right now. The team's not even out yet. All right, I like it. I don't think it's overbearing. It's not like they're giving them speed up on spawn or anything silly like that. They're still only getting speed up after the fifth tick of speed, so they're not going to be like unbeatable. I don't think this makes them nearly as bad as Spider Society, but I look forward to being proven wrong when these guys beat me in Crucible for the next six to eight weeks. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Tell me what you guys think about all this. Also, where the hell is the Odin? Where? Because there's data mines about it now, right? Where is the Odin date announcement? When are, like, what's all this? What? Like, this is cool. This is cool. Well, this is just kind of okay. I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's going to be our first taste of these kind of events. Um, and and keep, keep in mind... If you haven't been hoarding your cores, you've been blowing them on energy out the wazoo, besides like these events where we kind of have to, maybe start being a lot more um, conservative with how you spend your cores. Because these new character releases, like Nimrod on the 12th and the current Sentinel and Mega Sentinel, and they've just made them a lot better, we might be having to core for these guys to a certain extent. I don't think coring them to unlock, well no, I know, coring them to unlock, every single unlock, not feasible. Not even if you're in the top 10. Um, but coring, partial coring for the later members of a team is something we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on. Anyway, guys, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I'll be streaming this weekend, but it'll probably be like some WoW stuff, maybe a little bit of Marvel Strike Force. I got some videos I'm working on a little bit more, um, produced videos, so I hope you guys enjoy that for Warren Crucible. But for now, stay happy, stay healthy, and have fun. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.